Hi everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the dungeon and another study of color, Divarti. We are going to explore the world of Divarti today, finally. Let me tell you, I had this whole video finished and ready to go and a glitch happened in my editing and the whole video was wiped out. I had to start all from scratch. So I just wanted to run through all of these colors that we used. Let me see if I can find the pack. Okay, so here's the Divardi colors. You know, they worked out really nice and heating them in the oven worked out really well for me. I didn't have any cracking problems at all and I was ready for them. Having them in the oven just a little bit, maybe this much, and then I can go ahead and grab this rod and start to work it in the flame. However, you really want to hold it away from the back if you're heating in the oven. If you choke up on it, it can start to get really hot. Be careful if and when you reheat your Divardi glass this way. But so far, this is the way um, that I have found to alleviate any cracking problems from this glass, and it worked out great. That's one of the things that worked out really good. The color, all of them pulled beautifully for stringers. Once I actually had the color going, it seemed a little thicker uh, than the Ephetri or the 104 glasses. It just seemed different. So I went ahead and made all of the beads and about a week or a couple days actually later, I began to notice in each one of the beads, especially when I went to photograph them, that they all had very small or large cracks all over them. And these were the beads that had the extra Moretti or Ephetri colors in them. Clear was the worst. I put clear on top of these or in just thin stripes and you can see all the cracking that has happened. So, this all boils down to one thing. Divardi glass is not compatible with my Effectry glass. It is compatible with itself. To only use them with each other. There is a point where your rods might get too short in the oven. So a nice thing to do is to get, if you don't have, is a rod holder. It is a bit cumbersome. I don't use it very often, but I would definitely use it for any color that you have to heat up over 800 degrees, as this color clearly states you need to have that heat in it before you use it. Let me just show you what I would do. Put my rod in there so it's facing out and then when I feel like it's up to temperature it's up to you know whatever temperature 950 or a thousand that you have go ahead and use your tweezers oh my god it went way back there use your tweezers and away from you very gently just clip it here and then you'll be able to then use the rest of your shorts. In this situation where you have to heat the color up, it really comes in handy. So this might be something that you would be interested in getting a rod holder. All right. Okay, so uh, this first one I did, it was just the transparent right on top of the white. And maybe I just, I don't know what happened, but this came out fine. There wasn't any cracking problems or anything, so maybe the thicker the 104, the better and more compatible it will be with the color. Yeah, I just cracked my bead release there. The color seemed really thick. 
but there are, there are no cracks in this and the color is really beautiful. All right, the second one uh, here is the medium transparent purple. And I wanted to add a couple dots around the equator. And this one just started a very small crack and then it just kept growing and growing and all the way around and up and down and yeah, that's not good. I was not happy with that. I think it's because it was thinner. Anyway, here's my lightest color. And this one I put on a different color. I put this on a light sky blue. And I'm seeing that I added a little bit more and maybe that's why this one didn't have any problems cracking. I don't know what's the deal with this glass, but uh, you know, at this point, I'm, you know, I wouldn't want to use it hoping to make something spectacular and then it just crack at the end. So I really would only use it with itself at this point, just from my experience. But this one, yeah, no, no cracks. Everything turned out just fine here. Now, these are the, um, the opaques. And I started with the darkest one first, and I really, really liked the color while it was hot. And I thought, okay, I'll put some, some dots on it. The dots here did not crack at all, and I'm just assuming it's because it was a thicker amount of the uh, 104. Adding some dots, that little wave I added looked so cool, and I was excited to see that dark purple and how it was going to turn out, and then I was like, what? Totally disappointed. I mean, it's an okay color, but to me they all kind of blend together and look the same. I mean, this color doesn't look much different from the color behind it, or the, the stringer and the color. And then, of course, you have the, the dots. Those look a little different, and that was the lightest of the purples. This one was the medium purple, and I made it into a, a barrel-shaped bead. It did work really nice. The glass works great. I just needed to make it a little bit bigger here, so I just added some more, but I didn't have any problems with the rod itself cracking once I started using it. So here I just added some thick wraps around it. This actually, this bead came out really pretty. And I thought, okay, well, I'll add uh, I wanted to add a little bit of each color um, to this. So I added some dots of the darkest color. And I don't know what happened. It's like, I don't know, it just the color is cool. I like the striations when it's on the surface. And I like that it kind of, I don't know, I don't know, anyway. Here's the lightest of the color, and this rod was not even round. It was, well, they're all hand pulled, so maybe that's part of it. I don't know, but this lightest color I used on the base and made it, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I just used up the rest of my stringers of the other colors on this, and I think they must have just like overpowered the, the main base color because after everything was said and done, and I'm not really putting a lot of glass, like this is where I'm striping the glass up and down, feathering it basically, adding some dots of the lightest color, the base color. And then I thought, eh, I'll just add some, you know, dots of each stringer, each one I had left. And then obviously you saw the outcome earlier. It had all, cracked where I had put those stripes of clear down all the way through the bead and into the bead itself. 
and this kept cracking over a few days. So I don't know. There you have it. Devardi. It is what it is. If you have any comments about Devardi after this video, let me know because I really hope that some of you can use this information and actually use any Devardi that you have just to make something with instead of just having it sit there on the shelf. Devardi, it's crazy stuff. On that note, we will see you next time on another color review in the dungeon.